What's up, guys? <sighs> this is actual food. some reason, <laughs> well I know, I know the reason, but for the majority of us, the majority of people, we have been told, you know, that like things like pizza, burgers, and all that, even though like I still eat some of that stuff, I'm vegan, of course, you guys should already know that by now, and you know, I do still eat burgers sometimes, like vegan burgers, vegan pizza, you know, I eat processed foods, but I keep it at a minimum. I keep it at as minimum as possible. And right now, I'm working my way to get to that point where I can be fully raw, because I know for a fact that that is the goal. That is the goal, at least in my case, because I was fully raw for about three weeks, and I never felt so amazing. I felt so good. I felt powerful. I felt lighter. I was waking up earlier. I was happier. Man, I felt my mind felt so clear. I felt so so. I, I, would, I just wasn't blocked anymore, um, but I messed it up and I, ended, I started eating some cooked foods. I went, I traveled, so I wasn't in my natural environment. I was in North Carolina, so I ended up going out and, and eat, having some vegan pizza, then I had some cookies, then I had some ice cream. So of course, you know, it went down the hill. Um, and I've just been kind of working my way back. And as soon as I went back to eating those foods, man, I felt the, I felt it right away. Like I started getting pimples, I gained weight. It was like that. It was. There was. I was gonna snap my fingers, but I don't know how to snap my fingers. Yeah, I don't. Like, whatever. But anyways, oh my goodness, being raw felt so amazing. It's such a simple lifestyle to literally you just grab the fruit because you're eating whole plant food and you just eat it. That's it. <laughs> Sometimes for breakfast I just have a whole bunch of bananas. Um, I'll just sit there and eat some grapes or I'll have a couple of mangoes. I was looking at these honey crisp apples earlier. They were so huge. Like nature has the answer. Nature has what we need. You know, nature has the candies because, you know, like figs. Figs are delicious. I never had them before, but they're delicious. Dragon fruit. I mean, there are so many fruits out there, fruits and vegetables out there that I haven't tried yet. I can't wait to like travel the world and try like all those exotic fruits and all that. Jackfruit's amazing. Uh, Lychee, Lychee, I think it's called. But I'm gonna give you like the number one advice because I didn't really come here to talk about the food, but it is the food that led me to where I am now. <sighs> what you eat, you are what you eat essentially. So think about it this way. If you're eating meat, dairy, and all that nonsense, I call it nonsense. I don't call it food. But I don't really call it eating. I literally. But if you are eating all that, where does it come from? It came from a living being, a being that had a life that was killed. So you are eating death, you are eating suffering, you are eating sadness, you are eating anger. You are eating all those negative things because that's how that animal felt. That animal grew up in slavery, grew up in, cage, in a cage, you know. Some animals don't get to move around. Some animals get beat up for no reason, you know, just because at, at a certain point, you know, when you're killing and killing all day long, you might end up becoming a little sadistic. You might start to enjoy it because it has become a habit. It has become a part of your life. Man, but I got so much to tell you guys. I mean, <laughs> such a great journey. I mean, a whole bunch of terrible things happened this year. And normally, I say if it happened like three years ago, I would have crashed. I would have given up. I probably would have, I don't know what would have happened to me, but I've been on this journey for about, for like two years now, and I've just been working and working and working, making sure that I'm learning every single day, and I'll tell you guys the number one advice that I can give you, but it's not gonna, it's not something that's easy to do at all, because it takes work, you have to work at it every single day, um, but the number one advice is, sorry. Well, I'll say number one advice, but the number one thing that you need to do in order to actually move forward, in, uh, in, other t in, <laughs> in order to be happy, in order to be able to find your purpose and follow your purpose, not only find it, but follow your purpose.
purpose, I can keep going. Because you might find your purpose, but if you don't love yourself fully, you have to love yourself fully. If you don't love yourself fully, you will not be able to keep following your purpose. And if you don't keep on working on loving yourself, you will lose your way. It's easy to lose your way because everything is about habits. And boy, oh boy, do we have bad habits. Texting, video games, TV, Netflix, alcohol, drugs. I don't call weed a drug, by the way. Um, but of course, even weed, that's also a habit that, like, if you use it the wrong way, you know, if you depend on it, if it becomes a crutch, if you're using it to run away from your issues, it's a bad habit. Anything that you're using to distract yourself, either from pain or from following your purpose, it's slowing you down. Essentially, you have to love yourself. And I thought that I loved myself, and you know, it's something that I work on all the time. But this year, in the last couple of months, I realized that the one thing that was keeping me from fully loving myself, there was a couple of things, but the main one first that I had to do before I could delve deeper was to be honest with myself, like fully honest with yourself. And this is, I don't mean like being hard on yourself to the point where, you know, you're telling yourself bad things, because that's what people do. People think, you know, holding yourself accountable or being honest with yourself means like to, like if you do something bad, to say that you're a bad person. Just because you do something bad doesn't make you a bad person. Your actions don't actually define you because you are a living being. You're an infinite being. You can do anything you want. Just because you made one mistake, don't let you, you're not, you're not that mistake. Because you, you have a lot of, you have a lot more days to live, man. It's not, today's not the last day. And every new day is, every new day is a new day. So even if you had a bad day before, just remember what you did on that bad day and don't do it again. You know, just work on that. But man, being honest with yourself, being honest with yourself without criticizing yourself to the point where you put yourself down because there are trust me there are a lot there's enough people around in the world that are hurt that are going through a lot of things that will love to take it out on you that will love to put you down so if you're putting yourself down and they're putting you down guess what's gonna happen nothing you're gonna be stuck so be honest with yourself and then you will truly be able to love yourself and then the last one a little bit weird, but I'm gonna say it anyway because this is my channel. I can say what I want. Is by loving yourself fully, I mean loving all of yourself. So it's not just like your like your actions and things like that. It's also your body, and you have to love your body even before you are where you want to be with your body. So let's say you're overweight or maybe you're too skinny and you don't really like the way you look. You have to love yourself right where you are. You have to know that you are a work in progress and that just because you're not where you want to be doesn't mean that you should put yourself down for it because guess what, when you put yourself down, you're not going to be able to get to where you want to be. You need to like envision in your mind, you need to see yourself where you want to be. Once you do that, you, now you have a roadmap, now you have a vision, you have a goal and you just have to follow it. But loving yourself the whole time, as you do it, it's going to help you. If you don't, anybody else can come up come up in your life tell you something about yourself and you're gonna believe it because you don't love yourself you're not being honest with yourself you're being too hard on yourself so now you're just leaving yourself open because at this point you don't know yourself and if you don't know yourself to love yourself is to know yourself and if you don't know yourself other people will tell you who you are and if other people are telling you who you are then obviously that's not you it's not gonna sit well with you and you're just not gonna be able to move forward so take those advice, I mean, honestly, like, it'll take time to get to that point to where you know who you are, to where you love yourself and all that, but all of that you are, everything, you have to really love everything about yourself. If you have to get naked, get naked, get naked in front of like a full body mirror, look at yourself, all the, because honestly, I used to do it all the time in the past, not in a bad way though, like when I would see myself. I would heavily criticize myself, but now I just see myself and I love myself because I know who I am. I know that I'm powerful. I know that I can do anything. So I know nobody can stop me. The only person that can stop me is me, and I'm not going to let myself stop me. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Man, love yourself, and I love you too.